So we've set our database table up, but how do we actually connect to our database and start to work with the data we have? Well, what we're going to be doing is using PDO. And much like we did with our view and our config, we're going to attach this to Slim's container. And that means we can really easily use that within our roots. And we'll test this out at the end of the video to see that everything is working, just to make sure you're all set up ready to store and retrieve records. So then to attach this to the container, we just add this as a key in the container. And we have our function just here with our existing container in here. And this is important because what we need to do is take our config items from our app config. So our host DB name, username and password and use them within here. So we're just going to return a new PDO instance in here. We're going to be using MySQL as the driver. The host is 127.0.1. We'll replace these in a moment. And the DB name is Destructy. And then as the second and third argument, we just have the username and password. So now to replace these values, I'm just going to remove this and I'm going to concatenate on an item from our configuration. And we access that with our container. We access config. And then we get, and if we remind ourselves which key it's under, so it's under db mysql host. So we just say db.mysql.host. We do the same thing for the db name. So if we get rid of this and onto the end of this, append the same thing. So db config get db.mysql.db name. And why don't we just pull these down just so they're a little bit tidier. So we're just going to pull these down onto each line and it's a little bit easier to read. So we're going to say C config get db.mysql.username. And then we do exactly the same thing for the password. So we can actually just copy this, paste it into here, and then change this to password. So now that we've got this set up, we need to test this just to make sure everything's working. So over in roots, all we need to do is say var dump this DB. So remember, we've attached it to the container named DB. So this should give us the PDO object back. So let's go and check this out. And it looks like there's a problem here. So ah, there we go. So I've put DB there instead of C for container. You probably noticed that. So if we refresh now, there we go. So we have a PDO instance just there. And to test this out further, we can do var dump this DB query. And inside of here, we can say select one. And then here we can fetch this as an object. So PDO fetch object. And then that should just give us the value one being selected. And you can see that we have um, a class back here with one and we have the string one. So we now know that our database connection is all set up. And now what we can do is start to post the form that we've built here and store the values inside of our database table.